Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. In my last video, I made a block just like I'm showing today to go with my friendly sampler and I mentioned that I did want to explore making this block with scraps. So that's what I'm doing today. I pulled out a lot of strips. They're all different sizes. I have a bucket with strips that I uh, collect after making quilts and there are quite a few widths here, some uh, two inches up to probably three inches. And I'm going to sew some together and try to get a width that is seven inches or uh, just a little bit more. these strips here I used four strips and all of the blocks will probably have a different amount of strips to get to that seven inches and I was very surprised to see that when I went to cut my seven inch squares this little piece of fabric this strip set was almost exactly seven inches. get my seven inch block, I did need strips that were at least 15 inches long. That gave me an inch of wiggle room. Uh, 14 inches, of course, would be exactly, uh, you know, seven plus seven, but I like to have just a little extra. So maybe even 14 and a half would work because I did want to cut off the end after everything was together. I wanted to give myself a straight edge and then cut those seven inch blocks. my block today I chose this really light blue fabric for my background and I'm cutting my squares in half diagonally and I wanted to make sure that I cut the same direction so I did cut my strip sets first and then my background squares and it was mentioned yesterday that I could have put my squares together and drawn that pencil line and then put a seam on both sides of the pencil line and I could have done that. This was just visually easier for me to cut, um, cut them first so that I would make sure that I was cutting the same direction on both of my strip sets. And I alternated those triangles and I am trying to be very careful with these triangles because everything is now cut on the bias and bias tends to stretch so I just tried not to handle my pieces too much and I tried not to pull and tug at all and after getting it all laid out I sewed my triangles together to make some squares.
After pressing all of my now half square triangle squares, I trimmed them all to six and a half inches. This is a really fun block that's using up a lot of scraps. With my scrap colors, I was trying to focus on blues and greens, a little bit of just a light brown. And I'm going to make a few more. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you a little mock-up of what a quilt using these blocks might look like. Here's what a quilt might look like using these scrappy pinwheel blocks and I'm going to make some more and before you know it I will have a quilt. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.